Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you a new way by which you can create PDF documents inside Node.js. The library that we will be using is very much popular library which is PDF-lib library. So this is a complete library for working with PDF documents. You can also modify PDF documents inside this library also. So it's a very good library in comparison to JSPDF, PDF.js, all such libraries which are available. So it's also a server side library. You can both use it at the client side and at the server side. So basically in the last two videos I have discussed this library in JavaScript. Now I will be discussing on how to use this on uh, server side which is Node.js. So if you just type on Google PDF-lib, this is the official website of the library and it offers great documentation. Various examples are there, how to create forms, how to embed images in this tutorial. I will be showing you a very basic example on how to use it inside Node.js, how to add images and how to add text. For building this application, I have written a complete blog post on my website, step by step blog post. So if you want to follow along with the video, you can refer this blog post. The link will be there inside video description. So now let's get started guys. So now to use this inside your Node.js application, you let me just close out the application. and let me make a new directory and we will say pdf lib uh, demo i will go into this directory and uh, the very first thing i will do i will open this inside my visual studio code text editor so you will see nothing is there so we need to initialize the package.json file here npm init dash y so this will create the empty package.json and now we need to install this library which is pdf dash lib so basically it offers a Node.js uh, wrapper. So if you go to npmjs.com and type this library pdf-lib, the very first result which comes in, this is the library here, you will see. You can see the weekly downloads, 184,000. So it is the most popular library uh, of PDF. I just explored it in the last week. So before that I was making videos on JSPDF, PDF-JS, but uh, I don't know about this library and in the last week I knew about it. So it's a very awesome library. The most uh, distinctive thing that is that you can also modify PDF documents here. So just make it a index.js file. In this example, I will show you how to create a file here, PDF document here. So first of all, you need to require this library. So you will just write here require and then you will say PDF lib and inside this, we will extract the PDF document that we need. So you will see all these fields are there. All this, it's a complete library. So for this simple example, we only need the PDF document. And after getting the PDF document, we also need the file system module, which is a built-in module of Node.js in order to save the PDF document. So file system include this. And after that guys, basically it's a, it works on um, uh, async function so we need to make async function which will create the file for us create PDF so here we will write the code and basically we will run this function here create PDF we will call this basically so so this code needs to be residing in a async function because we will be using await keyword so with the very first thing guys we will initialize our document so we will say const doc you can call it anything and here we will say we will use the await keyword and then we will use our PDF document that we have extracted PDF document and it contains a method you will see dot create so you will see this is a method you will use to create a new document just initialize it and after that guys we need to add a new page so add a new page so I'm just writing the comments so just you understand properly to PDF document so for adding the page, it is very simple. This has its own method, which is doc dot add page. This is a method. It adds a new page to the document blank page. And uh, after that, now basically, if you just want to save the PDF document, if you don't want to add text or images, I will just explain you step by step how to do this. So in order to save this document, is it is pretty easy. We will use our file system module and we will write this file to our file system 
so using this module uh, method write files synchronously and here basically we will provide the path dot slash and it will save it inside the root directory so that we will call this as output dot pdf and uh, comma and then we will say await keyword we will again use await as this is the async method and then we will say pdf sorry doc dot save method so that it will actually save the pdf document that's it so this is all the things uh, just uh, uh, 10 lines of code is required we require the library we create a async function we initialize the pdf document we add a new page and then we save the pdf document using this code here now we can launch this application we simply need to write node index.js on the command line just notice on the left hand side it will create a new file you will see it has created this output.pdf file here which we have initialized here so if i open this file here you will see an empty page one page is added here let me see uh, uh, we are in a different directory let me see pdf lib uh, pdf lib demo so this is a directory so basically if i open this in google chrome you will see one page is there empty page so nothing is there so basically if i add another page here let's suppose i add call it for the second time add page you will see it will add two pages let me just run this for the very again so if you refresh it you will see two pages are there so first page second page so you can add as many pages as you want using this add page method now we will add some text to it it is very simple to add text so add text to pdf document so basically it contains a method which lets you do this the method name is very simple uh, which is uh, first of all in order to uh, get this we will say doc dot add page we will store it inside a reference so we will declare a page variable so it will store this in a page variable so using page you will see all these methods are there you can draw a circle ellipse image you can also embed images line page for this we only need to draw a text here on the pdf document so here we can say hello anything hello world this is some text and now basically if you re rerun the application and uh, if you refresh it so now at the bottom you will see hello world this is some text so now to get the placement right uh, if you want to get in the center position you can have uh, it has its own methods here so you can add some options here put a comma and inside curly brackets you can provide some options here so the first option you can provide is the x coordinate the position you can provide any position of your choice x to 50 y let's suppose again i give 50 comma and you can also provide the size here font size how much bigger you want let me change this to 70 just to see you and also you can provide your own fonts here as well custom fonts by using this font property and uh, this library contains some fonts here which is times roman font let me just show you how to do this so now to initialize you can also change the color of the text by using this color property so here you can give any color of your choice i will give it let's suppose red so basically now to use this font here uh, we need to require at the very top we need to require a module which is there which is standard fonts just require it and after when you just initialize your document we need to uh, we need to say here pdf uh, we need to initialize this times roman font that we have declared here which is times roman font which we are initializing it and this will be equal to we need to say await again and then we will say our doc dot embed font so you will see this is the method here in order to embed a custom font and here we will say standard fonts dot and you you can see there are some fonts available to you standard fonts you can select any font of your choice here from this select list so we will select this times roman times roman font here you will see that's it so 
now basically if I launch this you will see the color will be changed you will see we need to provide a RGB value sorry for this we need to require this red green blue so this is a syntax of declaring colors you know all know red green blue so here we can use our RGB values so you can provide any value of your choice 0 comma 0 0.53 0.71 so i'm just providing random values you can customize this and play with these values and whatever color that you want so once again if i refresh it hopefully the color will be changed you will see hello world the blue color is there you will see so now to you can play with the position so now to decrease our y so we can just say y to 12 just do this Again refresh it. So basically if you just uh, increase the Y position to mm, let me make it 2. So you can see. So I think we need to increase the Y position to let's suppose 60. And one more thing you can do it you can go to my video description link I have provided this uh, in order to get uh, just to po position it at the center of the screen what we can do is that we can get the first of all we can get the width and the height of the page using this property which is page dot get size this is a method here so basically it will return the width and the height and depending upon that we can use these values to manipulate our y coordinate so we can use the height parameter so whatever be the height of the page we need to subtract 4 multiplied by font size so this will dynamic value this will change depending upon whatever font size that you have given so let me just declare this font size variable at the top here let font size and we give the value at 70 so now we can replace instead of static we can replace font size so now basically if you refresh it hopefully it will be in, in the center of the screen now you will see hello world this is something you can change this to let's suppose 35 just to you will see that so this is simple guys you can add text here now i will show you how to add images it is very simple so the next example will be very simple to add images so right here in order to add images we need to download it from my website here let me download a sample image let me download this so let me go to desktop here projects pdf lib demo and let me rename this to profile.jpg so you will see we have an image now in the root directory so we need to embed this inside the pdf document so what we can do is that so let me declare an image variable so first of all let me read this file so using file system module so read file sync and here we will pass the path so it is there inside the same directory dot slash uh, profile dot jpg after getting the image inside the image variable now we can add this it is very simple so now we can say image again we will uh, modify this so image will be equal to await and then we can say doc dot it contains this embed jpg so if this is a jpg image we will use this method if you are embedding png you will use this method embed jpg and we will pass our image that's it so after that guys you can just uh, save this document and hopefully it will add this image so let me refresh it 
uh, let me just remove this we don't need to draw text here we have just added this image let me also delete this and again refresh it mm, nothing is there let me just see uh, for adding this it is very simple you need to scale this so we also need to scale the image so scale the image for scaling it is very simple image dot scale we will say image dot scale one we will provide one here and now to draw this image on the pgf document we have this draw image method and then we will pass the image which we need to draw and after that we will have the x coordinate which will be equal to page dot get width which will get the width of the page and divided by 2 uh, minus width so we can get the width and the height of the page like this Page dot get width sorry get size so minus width multiplied by oh sorry divided by 2 this is x coordinate put comma and y coordinate will be simply page dot get height divided by 2 minus height divided by so basically it will take the full space of the page so you will see here so now we can run this application and if you refresh it now you will see my image is placed here you will see that this is the image uh, it is not looking good let me just fix it so let me check if I haven't written the code perfectly. Let me see why it is embed JPG. Oh, sorry. We need to do this. We need to scale this image. So just do this. Write this modification. Just do this. And now you will see if I refresh it. My image is placed here. You will see. So you will see. In this tutorial guys I have show you, uh, shown you how to add text and images inside your PDF document how to create PDF documents in Node.js using PDF-lib library so please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and for the uh, source code go to the video description link and I will be seeing you in the next video.